Look what I found. Um, that's gum paste. So did you like my intro there? That's my son showing you how we're going to be making a gum paste millipede today on Cake Tastic Cakes. I really like bugs. I like all different kinds of insects. I like how they look. Their bodies are amazing. They, their little organs. I just think they're so cool. So I was super psyched to try making a millipede. Um, to make my millipede, I started out with some tan, rolled out pretty darn thin, I gotta say, and made a rectangle and then cut those triangles out to make it sawtooth on each side. You can see it right there. The body is just brown, uh, and I'm rolling out into a big, long sausage or hot dog or whatever you want to call it, a long tube, and it's got to be thick enough to cover the center of that beige, but let the triangle, the little spiky parts stick out, the little legs on each side, okay? So don't make it too fat. I'm cutting it not quite in half because I want the body to lay flat against the base where the legs are, but still be very nice and rounded on top. So to connect the body to the legs, a little bit of water, and then put it right on there. Make sure the body is even in thickness all the way down. And like I said before, make sure it covers up the center, but allows those little spikes to stick out on each side for the legs to show. To make the segments on it, I'm using the blade of my knife. I place it between each of the legs and then just roll it over the top. It might not meet all the way in the middle, but that's okay because I'll show you what to do. So just go between each segment and roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Keep on going, and then you're going to do it on the other side to connect them. It doesn't matter if the legs don't quite match up perfectly. Just roll it toward the line it should go to, and then touch it up on the top if they don't join quite right. So it's really not too hard. If you do it all the way down the length of the millipede, just take your time nice and neat. You get a really cool look already, right? Doesn't he look creepy and crawly? In order to color him, I using brown food coloring, just straight up brown. I didn't dilute it. And a paintbrush, and I'm painting the nice round end that you got sticking out there. Uh, that's where his head is going to be. Straight up brown. If you have black, you can use black or whatever you want to do. I'm just using brown because it's what I had. And in order to paint the body, I'm going to take the brown that I've got there and mix it with some water to dilute it a bit. And then just paint over his whole entire body. Do not paint the legs, or yeah, the little legs or feet. You want those to stay beige because some of them just stick out like that. They stand out differently. And you're going to find as you paint along the sides and you paint down and everything else, don't add too much water because you don't want it to drip or run down onto the legs. Make sure you go down the sides. Don't get it on the feet, like I said before. And you're going to see that the, the food coloring is going to settle into those um, seams that you just made or the indentations and that's fine because it just makes them stand out and makes them look even better. So he looks all nice and shiny. It will dry so don't worry about that. And I guess you could use some vodka to mix the coloring in but the water works so why bother? But anyway once you get him painted up put him in whatever squiggly pose you want for your Halloween cake or autumn cake or who knows what bug cake just because cake, because <laughs> you like bugs, and there you go. So check out my other videos. Please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.